All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Hawashai, Bahashim Rakakodash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. All right, and I'm back at you again with another show. As always, may the Lord edify, all right, those of the whole four elect. So with that being said, he that got ears to hear, let him hear. This is Micah chapter 7 and 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is the Lord thy power? My eyes shall behold her, now shall now shall she be trodden down as the mire in the streets. Alright, now this is focus up in, uh this is this lesson is focused upon the wicked woman and her evil ways. You know, in particular the Israelite woman. You so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Hispanic, and Native and Seminole Indians. All right. These women are not women. All right. And I'm going to tell you why they're not women. Because the first off, the word woman means servant. You know. And um, what the Lord have done to our glory is that he's taken it away from us. All right. Because what is a man's glory? A man's glory is his woman. All right. What is a woman's glory? A woman's glory is a hair. So just as well as he took our glory, he took their glory. All right. And this is why these women constantly faithfully run to the uh, salon or run to the their wig store and they grab them up some hair, you know, and they think they, they you know, and they paint their faces to make themselves look fair. And instead, really, they're ugly, you know, because you women, you're not you're not you're not at your perfection at all. Doesn't matter how much makeup you put on. No matter how much you stomach, uh, tummy tuck, you know, your stomach in or you get butt shots, you are nowhere near perfection. You are ugly, man. All right. You are ugly from the inside to the out. All right. These women are like wildebeest. You know, they say whatever's on their mind. They speak with a forward tongue. You know, they're like pit bulls. They're very aggressive. There's no tender nor delicateness, man. And I'm going to get that because these are the curses that was placed upon these women. This is the shit that we got to deal with. All right. This is the shit you got to deal with. How dare, you know, you come out your mouth, especially at a man of the Lord and talk the way you talk as if you're going to get away with what you say. All right. As if you're hurting us, you know. See, the Lord talked about how that uh what he said in ecclesiastes 7 that um if you please the most high the most high will have you escape from her he will have you escape from her man you know and that's heavy all right you know and i'm speaking about this just because um you know just been out and about dealing with the the tribe woman and seeing how they act you know these snapping turtles and shit and i just want to do this show while i'm waiting man you know um uh, anyway it says Micah chapter 7 and 10. Then she does my enemy shall see it. What is she going to see? She's going to see salvation. All right. When the Lord, she's going to see when the Lord fulfill. Um, uh, what's that? Uh, Isaiah, the 13, 13 chapter. We talked about how a man of the Lord shall be as fine gold. All right. Because the men, the elect men of the Lord, they're going to be as gold, man. They're going to be the covert in which a woman going to need to be delivered by. You know, she's going to need a man of the Lord to escape Babylon. It says, then she that is my enemy shall see it. So you're going to see it, man. And shame shall cover her, which said unto me. See, the shame is going to cover her. It says, which, which said unto me, where is the Lord thy God? Where is the Lord thy power? Exactly, man. Where is the Lord thy power? So when a woman's talking reckless... And she's coming out her mouth speaking with a forward tongue, you know, with her forward thoughts of serpent authority. She's challenging you. She's actually saying, where is the Lord thou power? Because she know you don't have the power. Because if you had the power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, she wouldn't dare utter a word, man. All right. And that's the power the Most High is going to give his elect, man. That power of authority, that power to rule. All right. The scriptures say every idle word that she shall, every idle word that you shall speak shall be held accountable against you, man. All right. Roughly paraphrasing. All right. Every idle word that you shall speak shall be held counted, shall be held against you. All right. 
So where is the Lord thy power? It says, my eyes, my eyes shall behold her. You know, when a woman's talking crazy and you get the looking at her with that look, you know, looking at her with that look, your eyes will be holding her, man. Like, I just can't wait. So it says, now she shall be trodden down as the mire in the streets, meaning she's going to get dragged through the mud when that time comes. All right. Either what the Lord said in Jeremiah 15 and 1 and a few verses down, you know, the most high point of the, the particular death unto you, man. Whether she get destroyed by martial law, whether she get destroyed by, by the man of the Lord with the power, all right, spiritual powers, whether she die of a famine, whether she die of a pestilence, all right, whether she die of a wildebeest, whether birds devour her, it says, now she that is my, now, now she shall be trodden down as the mire in the streets, man, all right, and um, before I even end this lesson, I want to read this real quick. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. It says, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. And these are the curses that became upon all of us Israelites, from the man to the woman to the children. All right. And we got to bear this because we transgressed against our father. All right. We transgressed against the, the laws that he gave in us, man, to be a special people unto him. So the most high put these angels out, these evil angels out amongst you because those are the curses. This is the shit you got to go through and be humiliated, man. But it's a it's a you know how they like to say there's a there's a mat, there's a method to the madness, man. You supposed to repent. And come back into the Lord and cry out. This is why the this is why the men of the Lord are praying for a few days unto this place, man. This is why we praying that the Lord Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, send back his son Yahweh Shai to change these roles, to reverse these roles. Alright, take these curses up off of us and put them upon our enemies, man. Alright, so that we could be perfect with the Lord. Now, I want to get this real quick. This is uh verse Deuteronomy 28 and 54. It says, so that the man, excuse me, let me, that's the man. Let's get 56. So it says, the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not have ventured to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. So these women are supposed to be tender and delicate, man. All right. They supposed to be soft spoken. They supposed to be as a, for, for their husband, as a pillar of rest. But nowadays, these women are not tender and delicate. They're rough. You know, they're very rough. It's like sandpaper. You know, you try rubbing against it. It's like sandpaper, man. You know, it's conflict. You know, it's a, it's a fight. You know, it says the tender and delicate woman. Right? Because the word woman means servant. The tender and delicate woman among you, which would not have ventured to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness. So she's not tender and delicate for you. All right. This is why you got a woman in the world. She ain't cooking for you. All right. She ain't looking out for your well-being. She ain't there for when you, when you need her. You can't trust these women. All right. It says her eyes shall be evil toward the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. And this is the this is the Lord's doing, man. All right. Lord did this because we have to suffer. And that's why brothers, you know, brothers that's going through things and shit with their woman, don't worry, man. You know, we almost out of here. You know, we're going to have our woman going to be made perfect, man. We're going to have real tender and delicate, man. All right. It says verse 57 and toward the young one that cometh out from between her feet. So like I said before, man, there's countless of videos on World Star you know, social media, you know, that character, Tommy Sotomayor, he brings out a lot of the wickedness that these women do and how evil they are toward their own children, man. It says, and toward the young woman that cometh out from between her feet and toward her children, which she shall bear, for she shall eat them, she shall eat them for the want of all things secretly in the siege and straightness. And guess what? That's literally, man. These women do a famine 
You're going to, the most high is going to have you eat your children, man. You best believe it. It happened in the past. It's going to happen again. It says, wherewith thy enemy shall distress thee in thy gates. All right. So, you know, that's basically the point. I wanted to bring this up, you know, Lord willing, like I said, hopefully this lesson will be edifying to those of the whole four elect, you know. So with that being said, he that got ears to hear, let him hear. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweshai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I like to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's whole four elect. Shalom.